What's your family's darkest secret? When I was just a little baby, a tsunami hid my home country, which messed with the third world government data system, or so I was told, and deleted the real me from existence. It wasn't until my mom decided to raise me in the US that I finally got a legal name and birthday, both of which were changed in the process of moving. I was 7 at the time and have since been living under this makeshift identity, but the fact that I was hidden from the government that long amazes me, if you ask me, though, she missed her chance to raise an undercover and very personal hitman. My granddad has 7 kids with 3 different mistress, while married to my nan. My cousin is actually really my mom's half brother, he would hit her if she spoke up or said anything. My granddad told my family hen my nan fainted in the kitchen he watched TV for around 20 minutes before she woke up. When she woke up she begged him to take her to the hospital, but didn't want to waste fuel, so he called his friend who took around 20 minutes to get to their home, so they could drive to the hospital. My nan died on the way to the hospital, we don't know which friend drove them to the hospital, nor which hospital they drove to and her cause of death is still unknown. This happened around 6 months ago and it still hurts. He lied about how my nan died before her funeral, and told his kids including my mother, to get over it. He stole part of the money for her funeral, and spent it on his mistress. No one talks to him. He is an absolute piece of crap. He was so flippant at the funeral. His wife of 40 years died, and he doesn't care. My nan refused to leave him as she loved him. Even though he cheated, he is a despicable piece of crap. Back in the 90s slash early 2000s, my uncle hid a camcorder slash video camera in the closet of my cousin's room, so he could watch her get changed and come from the shower and whatnot. She was like 13 or 14 at the time, as soon as she was 18. She split and never talked to anyone in the family again, except her mom and brother, which made me sad bc I loved her a lot and looked up to her. I never understood why she left until I got older and my mom finally told me the deal when I kept asking where she was. I hope she's doing well. Last I heard she moved to the west coast and is living her best life. Once my stepfather shouted at my mom that he had been looking for a way out of the relationship for 10 years. He didn't know I could hear. I was 10 years old at the time. I spent the first few years of my life living with my mom and B.O. dad. Meaning that my mom was with my stepdad for at least part of the time she was with my dad. They did something together that my stepdad couldn't just walk away from. Years later, in my 20s, my mom was drunk or high on painkillers or something and was bashing my stepdad. They had divorced by this point and she referred to him as the sperm donor since that's the only thing he ever did for us. She was talking about my stepdad, not my dad. I'm in my 30s now. My dad has passed away. My stepdad is out of the picture. My mom has cleaned up her life. But I have these memories. I'm pretty sure my mom and dad divorced cause she cheated on him. And I don't know for sure who my dad is. I'm not even sure my brother is my full brother. Whatever happened back then. Though, my B.O. dad knew. And he never said anything. But I had no doubt in my mind. That he loved me. And in my mind. He will always be my father. My dad was banished from the family for converting to a Christian. My dad's brother secretly would visit us and give money and gifts. My staunch upper caste indie granddad found out, threatened my uncle, and when he didn't obey, had him killed. I'm from the Balkans, and it is common for us to move to other countries to earn money. My great grandfather moved to Argentina in the 1920s, and he was working there at a train station. He was writing letters to his family and sending money to his wife. Four years later my great grandmother got a letter that my great grandfather is dead. Now I don't know if they told her what happened to him because neither of my grandparents are alive and my father doesn't know much about it or doesn't wanna talk about it. I think it's the latter. The theory was that he was robbed and killed but no one knows for sure and since the family didn't have money or opportunity to bring his body home. We don't know to this day where he is buried and what exactly happened to him. Not a secret anymore, but my dad had brain cancer for months and didn't tell anyone, not even his wife of 45 years. One day, he told my mum he was flying to our holiday home on the other side of the state to do some maintenance on the house and he would be gone for about a week. Really though, he went to the hospital to get his brain tumor removed after the week. 
he was discharged, went home and told my mum the whole story. When we asked why he didn't tell anyone, his response was he didn't want to scare or stress anyone out. I think my mum almost put him straight back in that hospital. Thank god it all went well, and he is still cancer free. I'm a male in my mid 50s, and I've never known who my father was. I was 27 years old, when I went to visit the man I thought was my father, and he told me I wasn't. My mom and him divorced, when I was 2 years old, and I have no memories of ever living with him. I saw him once, when I was in the 4th grade at a funeral, and then again, when I was in the 7th grade at another family member's funeral. The next time I saw him was, when I was 27 years old and that's, when I found out he wasn't my father. My mom always said things, like you're not missing anything with him, be glad he's not in your life etc. All along she was protecting herself, after I found out the man I thought was my father wasn't. When I talked to my mom about it, she simply wouldn't talk to me about it, not one word, at all, ever. I've never seen a picture of my real father, never known even his first name etc. That man was my younger sister's father though. Not really a secret, but it's rumored that one of my aunts euthanized my grandmother, who was dying of lung cancer at the time. At 74 years of age, she died after being discharged from a long hospital stay, while being driven home. This aunt had been taking care of her for years, and my other aunts and uncles plus my mother, seven of them in total, quickly turned on her and accused her of killing my grandma so she could inherit the house. I don't have the specifics, but basically she flipped out and cursed them out, saying that they had some nerve saying sh while they all moved away across the country, and she was the only one taking care of their mother, while also raising and supporting six children and constantly having to defend herself from an abusive alcoholic husband. She also said something to the effect that my grandma had known it was time to go, and she was all for ending it quickly or some such, which the family took as evidence that she killed my grandma. Now that they're all old and two of the siblings have passed away they're all cumbaya, but there's still that big resentment there, and they're still pretty crappy to each other, except for my guncle, gay uncle, he's the kindest bestest person I've ever met, but yeah, matricide. There are a lot in my family, but the saddest one, to me, is that my great, great aunt and uncle had one son. As a young adult, he died in an accident one day. My great great aunt, in her grief, on her usual morning, walk around their farm, went to the pond at the back of one of their fields, filled the pockets of her house dress with rocks, and drowned herself. My poor GG uncle never remarried. My mom and dad had a child out of wedlock, gasp, in college. My dad's parents pressured them to give her up for adoption. They eventually got married and had four more kids. I'm 30 and just found all of this out. It blows my mind and we are now FB friends. She seems to have grown up in a very happy home. I hope she doesn't constantly wonder why they gave her away and kept their other four children. It makes me a bit sad. In 1921. My great grandfather's father was going to be installed as the new dom for a Mafia family in southern Italy. Mussolini was getting ready to grab power and felt like he was going to cause problems for the family. He didn't want to do it. He told his father that him and his brother were going out for a gallon of milk. They jumped on a boat, came to America, and changed their last name. My grandfather had a bastard child with my grandmother's sister, his sister-in-law was married to a man who was in military duty while they had an affair. She gave birth to the bastard child three months before her husband returned. Since he was gone for the whole year, she didn't want the bastard child and was going to turn him into an orphanage at birth so her husband wouldn't find out. My grandfather wanted nothing to do with that child either. My grandmother found out about the affair and as big hearted as she was took that bastard child in and raised it as her own. Now for the cold ending. He grew up with issues due to this. He had 13 siblings and some considered him a brother others treated him like an outsider. He grew up troubled as you can imagine and knew of his reality. Even though my grandma tried to keep the secret, he grew up and became a junkie, a horrible addict. One day while my grandmother was watching her grandchildren he stormed into her home and demanded money for illegal substances. She refused so he hurt her multiple times and dragged her around the house. He went to prison, and when he sobered up and there he couldn't deal with what he had done, he ended himself in his cell, 
to this day you can see him in the family videos, but my father and his siblings never point him out. Some relatives have cut him out of family pictures. They never speak about him. I was only a child when this happened around 7 to 9 years old. I remembered him, but I thought I only dreamed him up. Until I was a teenager I saw him in one of my day videos. My sister and mother told me the truth, that he in fact was real. And what happened? That's how well my family has kept him a secret. I myself thought he was a dreamed man.